Hey there, this is Alex Profile with Zeta Sky. In this training video, I'll be showing you how to install OneDrive on your Windows computer. Now, chances are you most likely already have OneDrive installed. You can just click on the Start menu and look for OneDrive, but if it's been removed for some reason or you're just not finding it, you can try installing it. So if you go to the website, we'll have it in the description down below to make it easy for you. All you do is you click on the download button. Go ahead and run the installer. The installer will briefly pop up here and install. It generally doesn't take very long and then it just disappears when it's done. It should most likely show up in the tray down here with a, a little cloud with a line through it saying it's not signed in. If you're not seeing it there, you can click this little up arrow and you should be able to see it here. And if you click on that, you can click sign in here or you can click on the start menu and then open up OneDrive here. And this is the same way you'll see it if it's already installed and working for you. So if we go ahead and click on this, since this is the first time I'm launching it, it's going to ask me to set it up and sign in. So I'm gonna sign in to our demo account. And then it's going to ask me to put in my password. And if you have multi-factor authentication set up, it's also going to have you sign in for that. Now, once it goes to this screen, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the default here. So I'm gonna click next. On this window, you can decide if you want to sync your desktop documents and pictures to OneDrive, to the cloud. This is a good way to make sure that your files are backed up and are able to be accessible remotely. If for some reason you don't want your computer's files to be going to OneDrive on the cloud for your individual files, you can just uncheck these, which will remove them. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. If you're not sure, just be aware, this is something that you can change after the fact. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them on and then click continue. These next few screens are gonna show you some basic details on how to use OneDrive. We'll be covering this information in another video. So I'm just going to click next through these. On this screen, it's letting you know that there is a mobile app available. If you just go to your, your app store in iOS or Android, you'll be able to find the app there. That's usually the best way of finding it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click later here and then open up my OneDrive folder. This takes me straight to my OneDrive folder here. And these are my individual files. You also notice on the left here, it says OneDrive dash Zetasky LLC. Inside here, it is my individual files. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install OneDrive. If you have any issues or questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll help you out with that.